Okay, we're going to take a couple minutes here and we're going to talk about how you set up hotkeys inside Cubase. Really important feature of making sure that you've got your system set up the way you want. Okay, and uh, we're going to use uh, templates uh, as an example of that. So let's just go ahead and create an empty track and you're going to go in here under key commands. Now, of course, what you can do is you can add all of your tracks in with mouse commands. I add a bunch of instrument tracks in here and you can access all of the functions here through the menu. That's terrific, except we've all got two hands and we're all more inclined than normal. So what you're going to want to do is look at ways of setting up hotkeys. So I've got a couple of custom hotkeys. For example, if I hit K, it, ex it pulls up export audio mix down. And if I hit I, I'm able to import audio. That means that I've got my other hand free to use the mouse, and I've got my um, left hand or right hand, depending on how you uh, move around the keyboard, set up so that you can do that. So what you're going to want to do is going to go, want to go into key commands, and you're going to want to create a key command. So let's use the example of bounce here. I uh, use bounce frequently inside Cubase to bounce tracks. So you find it under the audio menu, select bounce, and then you're going to click in this little gray area here. And then you're going to hit B, which happens to be the key that I like for it. So I'm going to assign that key for B. And it's going to give you this prompt. It's going to say it's already used for transport. But remember, you can save all these custom key commands. And you click on assign. The key is assigned. Now, if I have to bounce a track, if I import an audio track, I'll import a piece of audio into here. Now, if I want bounce now to work, notice how I hit B and now it says replace. And that will just simply create a bounced version of it. So when I double click, I open Cubase's audio editor. And in another tutorial, we'll get into the advantage of using the parts functionality inside Cubase. But this is just a brief overview on look through the most commonly used pieces of functionality. Like, of course, hitting F2 is going to pull up your transport. Hitting F3 is going to pull up your mixer. Right? Hitting F12 is going to pull up your VST performance meter for a periodic check. Hitting F11 is going to pull up your VST rack. So, so looking through and understanding how those key commands work and customizing your workflow is the best way to create a, a sort of environment of inspiration. All right? So I hope that helps you out. And as usual, happy looping, happy composition.